Hello everybody, what is up? Microsoft Gaming here once again. We are now on part 9 of Dreamfall, The Longest Journey. Before I get started, please don't forget to slash that like and subscribe button if you're on YouTube. And if you're on Facebook, don't forget to slash that like and follow button. As well as go follow me on Rumble. Alright everybody, last time we played this game, we got... To the part where we we found the dragon kin, and then the dragon kin was going to tell us how to get here. Is where we are now, or not here, but Brian Westhouse told us how to get here. I think that's what it was. I don't remember. Anyway, we are here, and let's go see what we're supposed to do. All right, let's head this way. What are you doing? Forget about asking me to come with you. I don't like those big pillars of light. Okay. All right, let's go. Heading this way. Apparently, that's the guardian of the balance from the first game. So let's uh, let's see what we got to do here. Let's go. Alrighty. Up the stairs we go. There's a lot of stairs. Up, up, up. I think we're almost there. There we are. There's, look at this thing right here. There we go. It's a naked dude. Just as surprised as you are, Gordon. How, how have you been? I don't know. This place. I'm both a part of it and apart from it. I'm no longer who I once was, though I remain who I once was. There is natural dichotomy to the balance. Positive and negative. Reality and dream. Being and unbeing. Sounds confusing. I don't envy your role. You're standing in the middle of a very busy intersection. I don't know <laughs> any other way to be anymore. I remember, but my memories feel like they belong to someone else. So, April, you have come to me with questions. I didn't know where else to turn. Something's going on with the Twin Worlds, and I need to know what you know. You're right. Something touches the balance between the twin worlds. Dreams. Threads that weave through the divide. But the balance remains undisturbed. Dreams have always passed between the world of Stark and the world of Arcadia. That is how the worlds stay connected. How magic and science remain inextricably tied to each other. The laws of nature, of the universe are stronger than the artifice of the divide. So it's not something dangerous? I don't know, April. There are forces far stronger than the balance at play here. Dreams make up the fabric of cosmos. Yet my responsibility lies solely with the channeling of energies between Stark and Arcadia, between science and magic. And you don't know anything about these dreams? I know this. Your role in these events has come to an end. You are not the one who will set things right this time. I'm not. Who will? That's not for me to see. Your fate has always been tied to the balance, April. I see where our paths intersect. I can't see into the dreaming. The dreaming? What's that? The place where everything begins. You, me, this realm, the twin worlds, time, matter, cosmos, everything. It all begins in the dreaming. You're being obtuse. You know I hate it when people are being obtuse. I'm sorry. I don't know any more than that. But you don't have to carry the burden on your shoulders this time around, April. You're free. Go live your life. Let the past 
must go. That's easy for you to say. There's meaning to your existence. Me? I wasn't who I thought I was. I honestly have no idea who I am anymore. Everyone kept telling me I was important, that I was needed. Then one day I... wasn't. I was just lost. So don't tell me I'm free. Don't tell me to go live my life. You don't know. You have a purpose. We all do, April. You just haven't found yours yet. But this isn't it. Let it go. Okay. Done. I'm officially letting this one go. There's nothing more you can tell me? Only what I sense. Dreams are passing from Stark to Arcadia. But not the other way around. A slow trickle that may grow to a torrent. But this does not concern the balance. And so, it does not concern me. I guess that's good news. Thank you. By the way, I like what you've done with the place. Thank you. Safe journeys, April. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So he doesn't know what's going on either. Let's get out of here. Getting out. Back down the the curly stairs. Almost out. Almost out. There we be. Right here. Let's go back this way. What's that noise? <laughs> I hear like crumbling or something. Still hear it. Well, the bird's gone. Come on, Crow. Let's go. Oh, I thought he was gone. So, did you find what you were looking for? I did. Good. I love happy endings. Ah, another adventure complete. Well played, <laughs> partner. Time to go back and gorge ourselves on Rose de Gipa and Ice Ale. <laughs> Crow is the most loyal friend I have ever had. Okay. You drink ice ale? I thought you didn't like alcohol. I've acquired a taste for it. <laughs> and I like being drunk and not having to take responsibility for my actions. That's always a plus. What in the world? I thought he was going to show him saying something else or something. <laughs> oh, here we go. Loading. Don't worry about the drug. It won't harm you. It's a mild sedative and hallucinogenic. It'll help you sleep and dream. I'm not a big fan of drugs. Me neither. But for the time being, the dreamer requires it. We're working... I mean, we were working on it. This won't hurt at all. Better not. Right in the neck. Won't hurt at all, my butt. <laughs> I feel drowsy already. Hold on, I'll get the dreamer. Oh boy, here we go. I'm so. <clears throat> Sleepy. I know. You'll be fast asleep in less than a minute. Damien? Yeah, Zoe? Don't leave me. I won't. I'll be right here when you come back. What did you say? There we go. That creepy thing. <laughs> This place again. Let's go back to the house before the ground crumbles.
Can I get there this time? Ryan, but you must save her. I don't know. Who are you? What are you? You must save her, Zoe. Please. But I don't know what to do. She's fine. She doesn't need to be saved. Find April Ryan. Save her. Yep, yeah, and then you go back to uh, the other the other world there. Alternate reality. <laughs> Convergence. Playing as this guy again. Get him. <laughs> not put not much much of a fight, are you? <laughs> One of them down. Your goddess can't help you here. <laughs> I'll kill you too. Boom. Your father, your holy city, Sadi. Get him, get him, get him. Don't think it ends with this. Ah, oh, this is too easy. <laughs> Get him! Should just might as well just kill him in one hit. And then he just appears way back over there again. Please, no. Don't hurt me, please. Answer my questions, and I might spare your life. I'll tell you anything you want. Just don't hurt me. Um, rebels, about the scorpion. I want to know about the one they call the scorpion. The scorpion? Uh, that's just a legend. <laughs> A legend that has murdered hundreds of my people. Hey, hey, look, I don't know anything. I haven't hurt nobody. I'm just repeating w what I've been told. I want to help you. I really do. But if you want to find this scorpion of yours, you'll need to ask someone else, okay? Tell me everything you know about the rebels. I'm just an honest businessman. I don't know anything about... Your life is hanging by a very thin thread. <laughs> all right, all right. So I've had some dealings with certain people, but it's just business. Herbs, roots, potions, medicines, that's all. No weapons. Do you know how to get in touch with these customers of yours? If I tell you, they'll have me killed, for sure. These are not the kind of people you mess around with. Neither am I. If you refuse to cooperate, I'll string you up and put a knife to your belly until either you spill your guts or your guts spill to the ground. <laughs> Look... I have no quarrel with you or your people. I'll tell you anything you want. Anything at all. Apostle, there's a message for you. What? They've caught a rebel witch. She was using magic and she resisted arrest. They've got her locked up in Friar's Keep. Where is that? On the east side of the city. I can escort you, Apostle. Oh. No, I'll find it. I should go immediately. Maybe this witch has had dealings with the Scorpion. Take care of this one, soldier. Zoe got caught, I think. I don't remember. I haven't played this in forever, so. Bring him to the tower and wait for me. Sir! I think it was Zoe that got caught. Alright, let's go. We gotta go back this way. Let's go. We're gonna go. This way, I believe. Watch it, boy. <laughs> I 
can't believe you're still being held up. The supplies should have left the city two days ago, and you with them. Without proper authorization, there is no way for our vessel to leave harbor. If we do anything to awake suspicion... I know, Chuan. It's just frustrating. The plan was for you to be halfway up the river already. We leave this afternoon. Everything is in order now. The soldiers will not delay us any further. I hope you're right. Everyone's waiting for the medicines and the... <sighs> April! That girl, Zoe, I saw her. She's been taken by the Azadi. Uh-oh, I knew it. What? Where? To that place you told me about. Friar's Keep. Isn't that where the Azadi torture rebels? Why did they bring her there? Do you think she's going to tell on us? I don't think so. What would she tell them? She doesn't know anything about us. We need to help her. She has no one else. I know, I know. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. You two get ready to leave. You can't delay the boat any longer. What? You must be joking. When are you going to let us go on a mission again? You already have a mission, Bryn. A very important one. If you don't bring the supplies back to the swamp, people will die. I'll see you at home, guys. Safe journey. And guard those supplies well. Why is she being like this? Because she has much on her mind. I know, but she's always had a lot on her mind. And she hasn't been this way before. There's something going on that she's not telling us. I'm sure of it. <laughs> it is no business of ours. And she is right. We already have a mission. Come. We need to go to the harbor. The paperwork may have been cleared by now, and we must not delay the boat any further. Alright, what are we doing now? <clears throat> mm, one moment. I am here to... Mm, please, a moment. <clears throat> Pardon me, the... Uh... Dust here isn't any good for my lungs. Yes, may I help you? I represent the tower. I am told you have a prisoner. But we don't use that word here. They are our guests until your people come to uh, pick them up. I wish to speak with this prisoner. Hmm, so I see. Uh, am I to understand that you have all the paperwork in order? The emissary insists that I should speak <laughs> with the prisoner now. Mm, well, I, I will never understand this blatant disregard of a proper bureaucratic process, but uh, as you wish, God, if you please. Mm -hmm. There she is, all ready to be mm, interviewed. I shall be alone with her. I, I beg your pardon? Uh, no, no, that's not how things are done here. Local laws apply, and they are abundantly clear. During <laughs> interrogations, an independent body must be present to ensure the legality of said process. And I am that independent body. The tower shall hear of this. Yeah, I'm sure it will. Carry on. I represent the tower. Who? The tower. The supreme authority of the Azadi Empire in the Northlands. I am Apostle Alvani, personal envoy of the Six. I don't know what any of that is. I don't know anything. I haven't done anything. She keeps saying that. She's a bit whiny, this one. Do not interrupt, please. <laughs> mm. You stand accused of being a spy. You will be transported to Sadir, our capital, at our earliest convenience where you will be tried as a spy. I'm not a spy. Then what are you? A witch? You were spotted practicing magic. I wasn't practicing anything. I just just landed in a very inconvenient spot. Three soldiers saw you materialize out of thin air in the middle of the marketplace. If you're not a witch, <coughs> how did you do that? Someone else <laughs> sent me here to Arc... I mean, to Marcuria. I'm from the... the south. I'm not a spy, and I'm not a witch. I see. I believe you. I will speak with the warden, and maybe he will let you go. That is all I can do. You're just going to leave me here? This is not my jurisdiction. <clears throat> I'm sorry.
I take it she'll be uh, loaded onto the next airship bound for Sadir, yes? I don't think she is a spy, or a witch. Oh, does your opinion make a difference? Guilty or not, they all go across the sea to be... Mm, <clears throat> tried, do they not? I think she should be released. <laughs> no, 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 that's quite, quite impossible. She's been left in my care, <coughs> and in my care she shall remain, until she's sent off to uh, Sadir. Those are the laws. And here in Friars Keep, we follow the laws to the letter. I'm afraid I can't release her simply because you think she's uh, innocent. I shall bring this matter to the Tower's attention. And so you shall. Good day, then. Uh, my best to the Tower and your <clears throat> mistress. <laughs> Okay, so what am I supposed to do now? The warden of this prison. He is a true example of why women should be the ones in positions of power. <coughs> he just coughs. <laughs> so what am I supposed to do now? Going down here. Hey, crazy, crazy Clara's gone. That someone lives here. How tragic for a so-called civilized society to allow its citizens to be without permanent shelter. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? <laughs> Pardon me, mistress. Friendly. Yes. My apologies, mistress. I'm not familiar with this city, and I seek a place to get a hot meal nearby. Oh, um, well, there's a couple of really good taverns inside Old Town. I mean, the ghetto. There's this place up on Burrow Crook called the Riverwood Tavern that serves the best roasted ghee pit in town. It's worth checking out. And if you head further up that way, and you're in the mood for a good ale, the journey met... Actually, no. Forget that. It's closed. I appreciate your help. Pardon, mistress. Do... Do I know you from somewhere? You are familiar to me. I don't think so. <laughs> Who are you? So I'm controlling both of them. Truth. I'm Kian Alvani. I'm an Azadi apostle. I just arrived in the city. Why are you telling me this? I... Honestly, mistress, I'm not certain. It seemed the right thing to do. Perhaps I simply wanted to speak with someone who is not a Zadi to find out what you truly think of my people. What I think of your people? I find you, a Zadi, arrogant and full of yourselves. You believe you have a right to impose your politics and religion on others. And you actually have the audacity to believe that we should be grateful for that. Your honesty is refreshing, mistress, though I do not agree with your views. It's not a question of agreeing or disagreeing. It's a question of facts. You invaded our lands, you imposed yourselves on us. We delivered you from a brutal and deadly enemy. We liberated your city. We fed your hungry and housed your homeless. We made your land safe again. Without us, you would not be here. Without us, your people would be scattered, broken, dead. Your cities would be in ruins and your temples burned to the ground. We have only done what we know to be right. We wish only for you to walk in the light of our goddess, to hear her word and to know her love. Tell me, mistress, how have we wronged you? How have we imposed on you with our charity and goodwill? Charity and goodwill? Is that what they call <laughs> military occupation these days? Don't mistake gratitude for love, Azada. A lot of people were grateful that you liberated Mercuria from the tyrant hordes. Others are grateful for what you brought with you. Technology, airships, exotic goods... Increased trade. And your soldiers, they've made the Northland safe against our enemies. And Mercurius Street secure to walk at night, as long as you're human, of course. I'm embarrassed to say there are even those who are happy you've rounded up all the non-humans and stuck them in a ghetto. So sure there are those who are grateful and those who have gained a lot from your presence here. As for the silent majority... Well, who wants to rock the boat when there's food on the table, a roof over your head, and a job to pay the bills? But ask those who are no longer allowed to speak their minds, to walk the streets, or to practice their religion. What do you think they'll say? Ask a sentinel minstrel, if you can find one. 
what they felt when you leveled their holiest shrine to the ground to make room for your tower. Ask those who've had their homes raided and destroyed because they weren't born human, because they practiced magic, or because they didn't worship your goddess. Ask the Dolmari or the Zid about being forced to relocate and live inside the walls of the ghetto while they await an uncertain fate. Do you think they will sing your praises? Do you think they've bought into the whole charity <laughs> and goodwill song and dance? You came here under the pretense of liberating us, but instead you've imprisoned us. You've taken our sovereignty and you've taken our faith. You're even trying to take our individuality away. You want to make us into you. It won't work. In the end, people won't stand for it. If you hadn't come to our lands, we might still be homeless, hunted, hungry, but we'd be free. And freedom, Azadi. Freedom is worth a lot more than you will ever know. <laughs> you have strong feelings regarding this matter. Strong feelings? I... I shouldn't be talking to you. I have to go. Wait. Sounds I like the United States government. That <laughs> That's impossible. We're from very different worlds in more ways than you can possibly imagine. Maybe I could learn about your world and you about mine. I believe you have misjudged our intentions, but you speak with such passion and conviction. It would be wrong of me to simply dismiss you. Perhaps you could show me this ghetto from your perspective and explain to me how your people have suffered under our rule. You don't understand. It's impossible. And it's too late. We can't come to an understanding. We're enemies. How can we be enemies when we have just met? I don't... I really have to go. Good luck hmm. finding a place to eat. You really should try the Riverwood Tavern in Old Town. Well, now I'm playing as her again. And apparently she's heading over this way to check the tower, or the... the prison out. So let's go. Let us a go. Solid stuff. They're magical too. Com solid stuff. Solid stuff. Hello. Yes. <laughs> Delivery. Delivery. Delivery of what? Uh, <laughs> sheets. Uh, we do not issue sheets to our prisoners. It must be a mistake. Good day. <laughs> yes. Prison inspection. Prison inspection. Yeah, prison inspection. This is Friar's Keep. One doesn't inspect Friar's Keep. But you must have us confused with the city jail over on Cold Stone. Good day. <laughs> Sorry, wrong door. Sorry, wrong door. Thought you could just ditch me, didn't you? Well, I have a surprise. Crow, perfect. I need your help. No, oh, it's always the same old son. What? I need to find someone who's locked up in that tower. You can help me. Uh, help, help you? Really? Yes. Yes. Yes, I can. What do you need? There's a young woman in a cell somewhere in Friar's Keep. Her name's Zoe. She's got long, dark hair, and she probably looks completely lost. Sounds like someone I once knew. Tell her that I'm... that we're here to break her out, but we need her help in order to do that. Ask her to look around the cell, check the walls, the floor, the door. See if she can find a way to get out of there. Got it! I won't let you down, April. I'm counting on you, Crow. Here we go! Back to Zoe. Hey, psst, psst. up here. What? Who? What are you? I'm a bird. Crow's the name. At your service, etc. You're Zoe, right? Uh, right. How did you? How did you know? Got a friend of yours outside. April. She sends her regards. We're breaking you out. Exciting stuff, isn't it? You can... talk. Just noticing that, huh? Right. You're from Stark. Talking bird's a big deal for you. Trust me, it really isn't. No? No. 
Of course, most birds don't speak a human language, but bird speak is a lot more complicated. <laughs> most bird brains can't hold both, so I've specialized. The world's a lot less annoying now that I don't understand what all these birds are going on about all the time. So, what's the plan? The plan? I don't have a plan. I thought you were breaking me out. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just a messenger, see? And I don't want to get shot because of that whole messenger thing. <laughs> so what's the message? <laughs> oh, I forgot about the message. Well, April says, um... She says... Uh... She says, keep that upper lip stiff, trooper. Really? That's what she said? Uh, no. No, I can't remember what she said. Point is, we're breaking you out. Shh, not so loud. They'll hear you. How do you plan to do that? That's where you come in. April needs you to use your investigative skills. In other words, it's your move, baby. Baby? Okay, I'll try my best. <laughs> Baby. I'll wait here while you put that oversized human brain to work. Okay. That's Crow. He's here with April to rescue me. Open up. What's the bloody racket? You're giving me a bloody headache. But it's so <laughs> dark in here, and I'm uh, feeling a bit claustrophobic. Claustro? What? I don't like enclosed spaces. Would you mind leaving the hatch open? It'll make me feel better. Oh, yeah. Is that right? Deary me, we can't have you feeling bad, can we? After all, this ain't jail. It's a bloody holiday resort, innit? <laughs> no. Please, I'll be very grateful. How grateful? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. How grateful do you... Will you sing me a song? A uh, song? Yeah. A jingle, a ditty, a rhythmic series of musical notes, like me mum used to. I guess. I can do that. Yes. Yes, I can sing you a song. Later. Thanks ever so much. I'll just leave the hatch open then, shall I? And I'll come back later, right? For that ditty. Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> the door's bolted and locked from the outside. Even if I could reach that bolt, I wouldn't be able to lift it. Okay. I don't know if this will help, but it's a start. I got the guard to leave the hatch and the door open, and I can see the bar that keeps the door bolted. It's locked, and even if I could reach it, I wouldn't be able to move it. But maybe you or April can figure something out. That's what we're here for, figuring things out. Also rescuing you, of course. For me, it's mostly the last one. Not so much <laughs> Anyways, I'll fly down and tell April. She'll know what to do, I'm sure. She's the brains of the outfit. Also the bronze. I'm just the wings and the beak. Did you find her? I did, and she's doing fine. They haven't beheaded her yet. I think... Can they reattach your head after cutting it off? No. Did you find anything in the <laughs> cell we can use to get her out of there? The hatch and the door is open. Zoe says the door is locked from the outside with a metal bar. There's a guard, but he's not very attentive. Right. So we need something to take care of that bolt and something to get rid of the guard. Any ideas? Magic's always a good answer. You can't go wrong with magic. That's my final answer. Magic. Magic won't work inside Friar's Keep. The stone walls work as a sort of magical joke, <coughs> but potions would still work. That's chemistry, not magic. And I know where to get potions. Roper clacks. Wait here, Crow. All righty. I'll keep my eye oh. on you if anything uh, happens. Roper clacks. Aha, gotcha. He's in the market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Let's go this way. Gotta go down into the market. Gotta go grab up some potion. Let's go. Someone lives here. No doubt driven out of their home by the Azadi. Yep. Unfortunately. Here we go. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. Where are ya? This way, right? I believe it's this way. I hear him already, a roper, roper clacks. Roper clacks at your service. Potions. I need a couple of potions. You've certainly come to the right place. Oh, uh, what do you need? A, a love potion? To acne away. A webbed toes no more. Uh, some sort of a, a scented lubricant? Scented? No, I need something that can melt metal. Iron be gone. And something that can knock someone out cold. Knock you out. Extra strength. Tossable or drinkable. I guess it needs to have some range. Excellent. One moment. All right, smoke, smoke bomb, Visit and acid. For premium quality. Okay. Why? Well, thank you. All right, let's get out of here. Go back to where we were. Roper clacks at your service. Wait, I think you went the wrong way. I did. I went the wrong way. I went to the complete wrong way. Back in the doors. <laughs> All right, here we go. I think it was this way. Yeah, it was this way. Yep, there we go. We're going the right way now. Let's go through the door. There we go. Now we gotta go this way. Fresh and tasty. Wait, am I going the right way? What was it? I think it was this way. There we go. Yep, I'm going the right way now. Let's -a go. Back up here so we can get the stuff up to April. I need you to do something for me, Crow. I need you to fly up there with these two potions. Can you do that? No problemo. That's what my talons are for. Just hand them over and Crow's your man. Bird. Birdman. <laughs> Whatever, I'm that. Just hand over those potions and I'll do oh, yeah. Zoe. <coughs> Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. And that one. There you go. Booyah. I come bearing gifts. April got her hands on some potions that might be of use to you. This one melts metal, apparently. Careful, you don't want to spill that on the floor, or, uh, you know, your pants. 
So I pour this on the bolt? I guess so. What do I know? Birds don't have any use for chemistry. Then there's this one. <laughs> What's this for? It's a knockout bomb. You toss it, it breaks, smoke comes out, people fall over, that sort of thing. Real popular with the kids for some reason. Okay, for the guard. So I just toss it at his feet and he'll be knocked out. Will he get hurt? Hmm, he might wake up with a headache. Just remember that you <laughs> can cut your head off without a moment's hesitation. It's a Mershnik eat Mershnik world, baby. And only the strongest Mershniks survive. <laughs> All right, so let's do that. Let's get out. Settle down, you, and put those trousers back on. Disgraceful. <laughs> If your mum could see you now, she'd be horrified. Horrified. Oh, yeah. Let's throw it at him. Give it to him. <laughs> oh my god I'll go blind if I do that again <laughs> Okay so we did that The guard's out cold. The bomb worked perfectly. He'll be visiting with Lady Snooze for a few hours. Plenty of time to get out of here. <laughs> what do I do now? What? We're not done? Crow, we're still inside the prison. Right! <laughs> I forgot. I guess you need to do some scouting. Get the lay of the land and find... The lay of the land! Ah! <laughs> That's just unbelievably funny! <laughs> 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 The lay of the land. I never thought about that before. Wait, I, I gotta write this down somewhere. Crow, please try to focus. Oh, yeah. Everyone keeps telling me that for some reason. Right. So you need to do some scouting. Try and see if there's a way out of this joint. If you come up with anything, let me know, and I'll tell April. All right, let's, uh, let's check stuff out here. All right, um, let's go this way. Check anything out? Nope. Nothing there. Nothing there. And then this is the thing the guy I knocked out. Oh, prison keys. I'll go blind if I do that again. Ah, uh, can't do nothing with that. Alright, um, I take it we do this. All right. It's locked. The okay, that's not what I was trying to check, but it's locked. The jailer probably has the key. Ah, uh, I don't have the right key. It's locked. I don't care the if it's jailer locked. The probably has the key. Okay, I was trying to see if I could speak into that thing, but I guess not. Hey, uh, Warden, what's happening with lunch? My stomach's killing me. Uh, Mrs. Britt has the day off, Mr. Beerman. You'll just have to wait. Uh, sir, can't we just order something in? Hmm, well, it'll have to come out of your salary then, Mr. Beerman. Our budget doesn't cover such uh, extravagances. Extravagances, my gosh. Fine, sir. As long as I get some food. Very well. I shall send for a sandwich, the cost of which will be <clears throat> deducted from your next salary. It's 
It's locked. What are you doing out of yourself? <laughs> <laughs> like a slow motion. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. I didn't think anyone anything would happen. All right, reload. I don't think anyone anything would happen if I. Uh, okay, I gotta go back up. Unless I gotta re -see, review that. Okay. It's locked. Okay. It's locked. All right, we gotta go back up. And I think tell him. <sighs> tell the bird. That I, uh, that I need, that he, the guy ordered a sandwich. I heard something that could be of use. There's another guard between this floor and the bottom floor, and he just ordered a sandwich. Ah, the classic caper a la cuisine. The what? Oh, uh, I thought we were doing a thing now. I was just making stuff up. Sorry. I don't know if that information will be helpful or not, but I'll let April figure that part out. <laughs> Thanks. Stay brave. We're not giving up until you're safely out of here. Or dead. <laughs> Jackpot. Maybe. Someone in there's got the munchies, and they just ordered out. Sandwich. From where? Uh, I don't think Zoe caught that part. She just said, sandwich. So it doesn't matter. I can fake it. So, food delivery. That's the way to get in. Right, let's go. Let's go. Yes. Delivery. What? Spare keys. We forge our own keys in the basement. You must have the wrong address. Good day. What? Yes. Delivery. I see. Uh, what are you delivering? Firewood. We use oil. Thank you. Please stop. <laughs> okay. I take it we have to get a sandwich. Maybe from Ben Rime? So let's go that way. And attempt to get a sandwich from somewhere. Here we go. We need to find a sandwich. Maybe. Isn't there like a soup lady? Or do I have to go Ben Rime? Probably to Ben Rime, I would guess. Let's go back this way. Wait. Oops, what am I doing? This way. Go see if we can uh, get some get a sandwich from Ben Rime or something. I'm not sure if that's where I have to get the sandwich. I don't remember a lot of this. Played this a while ago. This way. <clears throat> Back this way. I probably could have gone the other way, but oh well. Here we go. Here we go. We're back at the journeyman. All right, you got a sandwich somewhere here, Ben Rime. Where is she? Where in the heck? Oh, she's right there. Ben Rime. I need some food. My word, child, are you so hungry that you've forgotten your manners? In this place, we say please. I'm sorry, I'm in a hurry. That girl Zoe, she's... What's wrong with her? She's in Friar's Keep, Benrime. What? By the balance, how did that happen? I don't know, and right now, I don't care. I need to get her out of there before they ship her off to Sadir. A poor child. But why are you here asking me for food when she needs your help? 
because I need to make a delivery to the prison. It's the only way to get inside. Oh, of course. One moment. <laughs> All right. Here you are, April. That ought to get you inside. Well, don't waste any time. Go rescue her. Go. <laughs> go. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go this way. Let's head back this way. Going, 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 going. Bum, ba, da, ba, bum, 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 boom. Uh. All right, let's go down this way. Back to where we came from. Nope, that is not it. It was the other way. This way, right? Yep, this way. Boom! Alright, let's go. Boom, 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 boom. And then right through here. Got that sandwich. Or next week. <laughs> All right, here we go. We are back on track here. <clears throat> Let's go. Almost there. All right, here we go. We got to go over here. Who is it? You ordered a sandwich. Did I uh, place that order already? Oh, never mind. Mr. Beanon has um, made it known to all and sundry that he's peckish. And we can't let Mr. Beanon's <laughs> stomach stay empty, can we? Enter. Enter. We got it. I have your lunch delivery. Mm, very good, very good. Uh, leave it on the table, please. Good day. I can bring the sandwich upstairs if you want. Sounded like your man was quite hungry. Hmm? I can bring the sandwich upstairs. Save you the trip. Yes, 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 that would be fine. Go ahead. <laughs> the uh, food elevator's on the first floor. Oh, and uh, Mr. Binon guards the second floor. The food's for him. All right. Let's go. So we gotta go in here. Okay. Up this way. There we go. It's closed. Where is he? It's closed. Oh, I noticed. Okay. That's very weird. Is it this way? No, it's not. Is there another door? Oh, what's in here? They've got a kitchen, but no kitchen staff. Lucky for us. It doesn't look too heavy, but I'll probably need some help pushing it. Oh. They've got a kitchen. They've got a kitchen. I don't care about the kitchen. No kitchen staff. Lucky for us. Whoops. Okay, so. Interesting. We gotta go there, I think, after. 
to get out, I believe that was that thing was. Is there any other places? Oh, there's another door here. Oh, of course the door doesn't do anything. Okay. Those gates are pretty solid. No one gets in or out of here unless the warden says so. <laughs> That's what you think. Okay. It, it's closed. Hmm. It's closed. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to check something else out. That's weird. I am a little bit confused. That's the food elevator. Oh. Okay, you won't let me put it in the food elevator either. That's the f that's the food elevator. Apparently, it's the food elevator. <laughs> Oh. Get in. That's where the food goes. Oops. <clears throat> Here we go. Finally, I'm starving. Okay. So now Worked. He's out cold. Oh. I'll go blind if I do that again. It's locked. The jailer probably has the key. Okay, so we gotta go down here. <sighs> By the balance, I'm sleepy. <laughs> Put him right to sleep. All right. All right. We gotta get this. Probably sneak past him now. <laughs> if I'm really quiet, I can probably sneak past him now. Let's see. What the heck? I can't, you know why? Oh, wait a minute. I go down this way. Go. It's locked. Get it. Ooh, yeah, buddy. We got it. What am I doing? Oh, go down. Go down even farther. So how is this going to work here? Thank you so much for helping me. You're welcome. Look, we may not have much time, so let's get out of here before anyone shows up. Okay. Where are we going? Uh, I haven't thought that far yet. I mean, we can try and fight our way out, but I'm not sure how good you are with the staff. Not very. We'll have to find some other way out. <laughs> Alright, let's go. We gotta go push that crate. On the other side here. Here we go. Right there. Hey, help me push this thing over to that wall. 
There we go. I think I remember. We get the we get a cloth. That's right. There is a cloth out here somewhere. We gotta get it off a wall or something. I think it might have been something still up top. Yeah, I ain't got nothing in here. Looks like they have everything All needed right, yeah. for a fully working kitchen. Oh, there's a rope. Got the rope. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go. What are we waiting for here? You just gonna leave? April. <laughs> okay, here we go. What do you mean you're not getting involved? You are involved, April, whether you like it or not. I understand that you're upset, but this is not my fight. I know that now. Oh, because this guardian person told you? Does he know everything? <sighs> Maybe not. But he told me that my role in this thing is over, that I'm free. So what? You're just going to walk away? You're not going to help me? What am I supposed to do? You'll find out, I'm sure. I know I did. Fine, yeah. God forbid you put yourself on the line again. Did you ever think that maybe the reason you saved the world the first time around was because others helped you? Others helped me, yes, and they suffered for it. There's no justice in this universe. No matter how much you give, there's no guarantee you'll ever get anything back. That's no reason to give up. It's called having faith, April. I might want to try it out. Thanks. <laughs> Look, Zoe. I've told you everything I know. I've helped you as much as I can. You're on your own now. I have others to take care of. Fine. If I have to do this on my own, I will. Have a nice life, April Ryan. April, what the heck is the matter with you? <laughs> no. Oh, don't crow me. You let that poor girl walk out of here. She needed your help. No, Crow, she doesn't. I spoke with the Guardian and... The April Ryan I knew wouldn't be satisfied with saying, I spoke with the Guardian. She would have done everything she could to help her. Well... I'm not the April Ryan you once knew. I'm tired of being responsible for everyone. I'm just tired. Well, too bad. Because the world won't wait around for you to feel untired. And if you're not going to help Zoe, then I certainly am. <laughs> Crow! Oh, forget it. I have more important things to worry about. Alrighty. Zoe, wait up! Wait up! Hey! Phew, you're a fast walker. Long legs and a bad mood. A lethal combination. So why doesn't April want to help you? <laughs> she has a lot on her mind. She's selfish, that's what she is. Being busy is no excuse. I don't know what's going on with her, but I can't say that I care anymore. From now on, I'll be your sidekick. My sidekick? Look, I'm not the hero type, but I'm not the sit on the sidelines while the world goes to hell type either. If things need doing, I'll help with the doing of them. I've never had a sidekick before. It's easy. I provide the banter and commentary, and you do the stuff. <laughs> what stuff? 
the talking and the running and the saving of the world. If a helpful hint or, you know, an inappropriate joke is needed, bam, I'm right there. Cool. Oh, oh, I know what that means. Don't tell me, don't tell me. It means great, doesn't it? So, where do we start? <laughs> um... Suggestion? Well, what do you suggest, Crow? I suggest we get help. You're young and inexperienced and, let's face it, as lost as a babe in the woods, no sexism intended. Me, on the other hand, I'm usually wise to the ways of the world, but I really have no idea what's going on. So, we get help from someone who's both wiser and more clued in than either of us. Beards are a good indication. <laughs> it signifies age and wisdom, and also sometimes poor personal hygiene. I think those things are actually connected. Who did you have in mind? There's a bloke that April knows. He's in the city now. He's got a beard, and he's an adult. A perfect combination. His name is Brian Westhouse. Westhouse. Okay. So where do we find this Westhouse? As chance would have... Wait, no. It's probably fate. If there's one thing I've learned, when things like this happen, it's almost always fate. As fate would have it, I saw Westhouse when I was flying here. I think he was on his way to the south gate. If we hurry, he might still be there. Great. Let's go. I actually know where the south gate is, believe it or not. <laughs> Good, I'm terrible with directions. Which way is south again? <laughs> All right, everybody. I think this is going to be the end of episode nine thank you everyone for watching i really appreciate it i hope you all have a great night please don't forget to slash that like and subscribe button if you're on youtube and if you're on facebook don't forget to slash that like and follow button as well as go follow me on rumble i'd really appreciate it and it would help me out all right everybody hope you all have a great night thanks for watching peace out